Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel once again. In this video, I am going to discuss about SQL scenario based interview question and answer part 62. But before moving to the problem statement, I have a request to all my viewers that if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing my channel so that you can get all my future video updates. And if you really like my video contents, don't forget to give thumbs up. Now let's come back to the problem statement. For this problem, we have two tables. First table is the player table and the second one is the matches table. The first table, player table, indicates the group of each player. You can see that we have mainly three groups, group ID 1, group ID 2 and 3. For group ID 1, we have four players associated, that is player ID 15, 25, 30 and 45. And the player ID, uh, sorry, group ID 2, we have three players associated, 10, 35 and 50. And for group ID 3, we have two players associated, 20 and 40. Now the second table called the matches, uh, this table contains all the details of the matches played. Now the winner in each group is the player who scored the maximum total points within the group. In case of a tie, the, total, uh, the lowest player ID wins. So you can see this table, matches table contains the match ID, first player, second player, first score and the second score. So the whatever the score uh, points has been uh, uh, scored by the first player, this is the first score. The points scored by the second player is the second score. And you can assume that in each match, players belong to the same group. Now, from this data, these two input data, we have to write a SQL query to find the winner in each group. And if there are uh, like uh, uh, multiple uh, player who scores the same points, then the player having the lowest player ID will be the winner. So suppose if uh, if say uh, player ID 15 and player ID 30 scores the same points, then player ID 15 will be the winner. So you can see the expected output table. Uh, we want the uh, winner in each group. So let's see how we can do this in SQL Server. Before proceeding to the solution, let's see our input table once again. So let me first select start from play, players and matches. So these are the two input tables. So first one is the player, a player input table and the second one is the matches table. Now you can see here we have in the second uh, table, we have all the matches played detail and you can see in the, uh, in the second column, we have the first player data and the third column, we have the second player data. Similarly, in the fourth column, we have the uh, total points scored by the first player and the fourth column, we have the total points sc uh, scored by the second player. Now we have to get the data in such a way that the first player and the second player's data should come in one column and the uh, first score and the second score data should come in the other column. So how to do that? So we can do that by using union all. So let me copy this, select star from matches and then I'm going to replace the star with the first underscore player and we'll give alias as let's say player and, and then I'm going to select first underscore score and we will give alias as a scores. And then I'm going to use union all and I'm going to select the same data, same SQL code and paste it over here. And now I'm going to change instead of first, I'm going to select second. Second underscore player and here also second underscore score. So now let me run both these statement. So you can see now we are able to get the players and the and the corresponding scores in one. Uh, I mean all the players in one column and all the scores in the other column corresponding scores in the other column. Now let me put this all uh, this SQL code into CT. So we'll give C, CT table name as where CT underscore let's say all matches
matches or let's say all players yes and then i'm going to close the bracket over here and then in the second step what i'm going to do i will try to get the aggregate scores or the points for each player so for that i'm going to create another ct so ct underscore let's say total total underscore points and here i will be doing a group by so here first i'll select the column name player and i want the sum of all the points so i'll have i'll have to do a sum of scores and we'll give alias as let's say total scores from ct underscore all players and then i'm going to do a group by Miss the comma okay now if i do select start from ct underscore total points let's see what result we are getting now you can you can see that we have got the aggregated scores of each player right now what i will do i have to get the corresponding other uh, group id right so for we don't know the for the, this player belongs to which uh, uh, which group so for that we have to join with the player table right and then once we will join then we will have to rank within the group and we will have to select the uh, the one who scores the most right so for that I am going to create another CTE CT underscore let's say rank as and in this I am going to join ct underscore total points table and will give alias as c n inner join inner join players table because player, player table contains the uh, group id information and will give alias as p and I'm going to join on C dot so C has player as player ID and P dot player ID now what are the fields we need over here we need player ID and then we need total scores and then what i am going to do now i am going to uh, for, and we need group id also right so group id is present in the player table right so p dot group id now i am going to derive another column and i will be for that i will be using uh, rank function so I will be using row underscore number and then I'm going to use over clause and then partition by partition by uh, partition by group ID because we want to get the uh, total scores within the group right and order by order by total scores in the descending order because we want the uh, the scores having the uh, the highest should go at the top right or should be the first should get the first ranking so so uh, it's order by total scores and in the descending order and here see what the question uh, question has asked that if uh, 
if there are multiple players who scores the total uh, same points then the player who is having the lowest employ, uh, uh, lowest player id should be uh, should should win so for that if what i will do i'll give um, player id player underscore id sorry in the ascending order and will give alias as rank so okay so let me run this piece of code ct underscore rank so okay we have missed the comma over here okay now let me run this piece of code now you can see that we have you are able to drive another column called rank and you you see within the group id this we were able to rank the data you can see uh, for the group id 1 uh, there are two players who have scored the same points right 3 and 3 so we have got the ranking 1 and 2 so how i was able to do this because here you can see i have done uh, here uh, partition by group id we are doing a partition by group id and within that i am ordering based on the total scores and if the scores is same then the uh, the one uh, having player, player id less should get the high, uh, first rank so player id less is getting the first rank now you are understood now our data uh, our job is very easy now i can simply select select staff from player id and the group id where rank is equal to 1 now if you run this full piece of code here you go you got the desired result you can see we were able to give the winner for each group and the, uh, if there are uh, and if there are multiple players with the same points we are able to display the player id which is having the least value so uh, if you know by any other way by which you can solve this problem you can write in the comment section and if you really like my uh, video problem and the solution please give thumbs up thank you